Look at this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Josh Miller. Uh, and I'm Pat Casey. We wrote Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2. And we also made the cult classic Hey Stop Stabbing Me back in the day. Ah! <laughs> hey, stop stabbing me! Quit ah! stabbing yourself! Quit stabbing yourself! Let's uh, have a look at some of this stuff. But yeah, I don't know cult movies as well as you do. You're the expert. Well, you would, uh, I forget you guys released this. You'd love this. What? Day of the Beast. S Spanish dark comedy. It's about a priest who needs to meet with Satan by the end of the day to stop the end of the world. So he has to try to sin as much as possible, as quickly as possible. But he's really bad at it, too. It's like actually kind of... That makes it sound like it's real sleazy, but it's kind of adorable, actually. No, it sounds great. It's like a, a religious version of Crank. <laughs> Wait, is this the Tawny Katane movie? I don't remember. Why? Oh, wait! This is the one It's like sort of like an Indiana Jones type adventure, except for everyone's constantly yeah. almost naked. <laughs> yeah, this movie was great. We saw this on cable in the middle of the night, and like the dude in it, the like burly dude has to like dress in like the sleazy girl, girl slave outfit to go undercover as a girl in like the temple or whatever, wherever what the hell What is the longer were. title of that? The Perils of Gwendolyn in the lost, lost land of the Yik Yak. The Beast in Heat, The Beast, the beast Must the beast Die. Are these from the same die. series? Yes, it's a surprise. I feel like The Beast in Heat, I probably don't actually want to watch that movie. You know, Pat, I feel like you should find out if this is true. <laughs> <laughs> we met in eighth grade, but... We met in detention in eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we, I think during our becoming friends phase, we had two video stores, Video Update and Adventures in Video in Bloomington, Minnesota. They were like catty corner or whatever you call that from each other at an intersection and both of them had like a two for one Tuesdays. Yeah so it used to be on Tuesdays during the summer we would rent like four yeah. movies and then we would stay up super late watching them and they were almost all terrible horror movies usually but sometimes bad action yeah, sci-fi movies too. But to pick what order we watched them and we would hold all four and throw oh, them right. against the couch and whichever one bounced off and hit the floor first won the race. Yeah, we, we saw some truly terrible movies that way. But, but the thing is, because is we were, how, how old we were, super young, a lot of these horrible movies, are I later realized, are like cult hits and probably released by several. I'm, I'm a sucker for uh, Animals Attack movies. If you ever want to see a shirtless Leslie Nielsen fight a bear, With mwah. a jaw-dropping performance by Leslie Oh, Nielsen. wow. Shut up, you little cockroach! Or I'll shove you off the cliff! <laughs> Night of Open Sex with Robert Forster. <gasps> oh, oh. Oh. I know how fond you are of surprises. <laughs> so we like, when we're writing, we like to go walk around Lake Hollywood. And we used to see Robert Forster there like twice a week. He would always be walking around the lake, like reciting his lines. Wearing for the whatever. same outfit every time. Yeah, he was too. wearing like a parka to keep the sun off his face, but he'd just be walking around like, you know, yelling at a cop or whatever, yeah. whatever part he was playing that week. Holding a script. That's how we knew he wasn't crazy. Though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, have you seen The Wild Geese? Did we watch this together? I didn't remember that title, but I do remember Roger Moore wearing that hat. What's well, funny, this is a movie because I feel like because of Taken, we now think of this as like a new type of movie that's the about old like old man old, action. Yeah, but it's like, no, that was Wild Geese already did it. In a the movie 70s for dads about how like really they, they can beat the crap out of these yeah. young punks that disrespect <laughs> them at the gas station or whatever. Still, they say a little suffering is good for the soul. Night of the Demon, the important one, the Bigfoot dick ripping off one, uh, <laughs> must have for any collection. Well, I do want to highlight uh, this I got for my wife for Christmas. It is fantastic. Wait, what movie is that? Uh, it's a collection of folk horror. Ooh. So it's got many, many movies on it. That sounds good. I mean, Santa Sangre, this movie's fucking great. Yeah, man, this movie is unbelievably good. Blew my mind. Oh, man, and there's a ton of bonus features, too. That's much more fun than the movies. What's going on in this one? Cover doesn't look familiar. Oh, ho, ho, ho. The most terrifying creature of all may be waiting for you round the next corner. <laughs> Oh, 
Yes. What? I'm all over that. This right. sounds like I'm going to borrow that from you okay. after you watch it. We've played past the candlestick, and I think we've put our guests through enough for one evening. Uh, it was an honor to be the first people in the new Severin cellar here. It's uh, ah. Yeah, really great to be here. Some, so much awesome stuff. You guys should go see Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I'm not sure when this is released, but the movie comes out April 8th. Uh, and you should also check out Hey Stop Stabbing Me, but maybe don't uh, buy one of the old discs off eBay just yet, because... Who knows what do. might happen. Yeah, who knows? You never know. All right, let's go home. Bye. I'm going to steal one of these, too. But... Oh, no! Run!